Hi guys! Spooky season is officially here, so it's time to make some Halloween dolls. In this video I'm going to make a pumpkin jack o lantern inspired girl. Two years ago I've already made a pumpkin witch, but it was a really cute, friendly witch. So now I wanna make something spookier. There is only one orange doll from the Monster High line. So yeah, the perfect candidate is to rely for this project. First I'm doing the regular preparations. Cutting off the hair, disconnecting the head from the body, removing the remaining hair from the inside and wiping off the factory paint. Of course, a pumpkin doesn't need cat ears, so I'm gently cutting them off with my exacto knife. She also has a molded glove on her left arm. I'm trying to do my best to get rid of it, doing it really slowly and gently, because I don't wanna cut myself. The hand is also out of a vinyl, not from hard plastic, so I can use acetone to remove the black paint without melting it. But you shouldn't use acetone on the torso, upper arms and legs. I'm using a nail buffer to remove the glossy top from the body. Yes, it takes a long time and it makes your hands super dry. I really don't like it, but I feel it necessary. I'm also not satisfied with the left arm. So I'm trying to smooth out the surface even more with my Dremel tool. Now I'm using rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad to remove the dust what the buffing caused. After this I will cut the neck pack shorter, I always do that. And off camera I'm spraying the head with Mr. Super Clear sealant twice. So now I can start drawing the features. I wanna make something similar to a jack o lantern, something spooky to get those Halloween vibes. Are you celebrating Halloween? And how? In Hungary it's not a big thing. Many people are really against it, saying Halloween is just an American stuff. We have All Saints Day. Here it's a sad day. You have to go to the cemetery. Little candle for those who you lost. And yes, I will do that too. But in my opinion, it doesn't matter what day it is. You still love and miss those people who you lost. Think about them every day and wish they were still here with you. We shouldn't be so pessimist. Halloween is all about fun, costumes, sweets, and yeah, of course, thrill and horror. A lot of bad things going all around the world. We should try to enjoy the life and have fun for at least one day and not being depressed all the time. However, I see the popularity of Halloween is getting bigger and bigger here as well. You might know I'm a confectioner and I own a cake shop. This week I only made Halloween cakes for sale and surprisingly it's a huge success. I made a lot of fun desserts. Halloween macarons, jack o lantern cake pops, eyeballs, tiny ghost cakes and many other things. It's such a joy to see the smile of my customers when they buy them and the happiness of the children. We should all experience that. Autumn is such a wonderful season. The colors, the smell of the pumpkin spice, the chilly weather, the trips in the forest, the food what you cook from the seasonal plants, apple pie, pumpkin cake, it just warms my heart. And Halloween, it's the cherry on top. But now let's get back to the repaint. I'm going to set some spooky audio music for you. I think I don't have to explain the repaint process. I did it many times in my previous videos. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Your comments makes me really happy and I'm glad if I can inspire your art. Now it's your turn to sit back, enjoy the video and get some Halloween vibes.
Okay, the doll is looking pretty cool so far, I think. These ponytails and the spooky jack-o'-lantern face-up is such a fun combination. Like a psycho teen girl from high school. I didn't gloss the eyes and the lips this time. I think they don't need it. And look what just arrived with the post. My first warbla! Yay! I ordered a bigger sheet of regular warbla and a smaller sheet of transparent. I'm super excited to use because I've never worked with warbla thermoplastic before. Let's start with baby footsteps first. You might notice there is a hole on her back, what was originally for her tail. Let's fill that hole with warbla. First, it was pretty strange to use this material. It seems like my hair dryer is too weak. It took me ages to soften a little piece. So I decided to use my flat iron. It might not be the best solution, but it worked for me. I don't use this flat iron on my hair, so it's okay. I also made these tiny pumpkins out of warbler as a hair decoration. Now I just have to paint them. Let's make her outfit now. I made my own sewing patterns and I'm sewing everything by hand. I really like her outfit, it's just how I imagined it. Now I'm going to customize these Monster High boots. Painting some details with orange acrylic paint, 
it needs a several coats of paint to get the right color. After I'm happy with the result, I'm spraying them with glossy sealant. Now I'm going to show you something extra. It's not part of the doll, but I thought it would be nice to do something else. You probably know when you make yarn hair, there is always a big loss of yarn during brushing. Don't throw it out. I'm gonna show you how to recycle them and make cute pumpkin decorations for the fall season. Choose a fabric you like, simple orange or a fabric with autumn patterns, it depends on you. Cut out a circle, you can make smaller or bigger ones. Use a gather stitch to make a pocket and fill it with the leftover yarn. Choose a fabric you like, simple orange or a fabric with autumn patterns, it depends on you. Cut out a circle, you can make smaller or bigger ones. Use a gather stitch and make a pocket and fill it with the leftover yarn. Now you can decorate it as you wish. I'm using a string of a sack clothes to get the shape of the pumpkin. I'm gluing a cinnamon stick as a stem with my hot glue gun. You can also decorate it with leaves, ribbons, as you want it. And yeah, basically that's it. Very simple and fast. Don't forget to stay till the end of the video to see the end result of my pumpkins and the doll. I took some spooky photos with her. She turned out as a creature who you don't wanna meet with in the forest. <laughs> but I really like her. I'm satisfied with the result. And how do you like her? Now I'm gonna say bye and wish you a happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video which is also gonna be a Halloween doll. It's already done, but I have to finish the video, so I hope I can do it as soon as possible. See you guys, bye bye!